علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ان اللہ و ملائی کا تو صلی اللہ نبی یا یزین امن صلی علیہ وسلم تسلیمہ اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا محمد علیہ سیدنا محمد مبارک وسلم اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا محمد علیہ سیدنا محمد مبارک وسلم اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا محمد علیہ سیدنا محمد مبارک وسلم اللہ صلی علیہ سیدنا محمد علیہ سیدنا محمد مبارک وسلم اٹ از اے گریٹ مرسی اینڈ کاؤنٹلیس فیور آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ دیٹ ہی ایز کریٹیڈ از ان دا اما آف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم الحمد للہ دس واز آلسو دا ڈیزائر آف مینی پریویس پروفیٹس بفور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم فردر اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ایسوسیٹیڈ از وتھ ہز بلیسڈ بک آف قرآن مجید اینڈ ہی آلسو ایسوسیٹیڈ از وتھ ہز فرینڈس دیٹ از دا اولیا اینڈ ہی ہیز ہیلڈ از ان گیدرنگ ہیئر ٹو رینیو آور ایمان ٹو میک تصدید آف اور ایمان الحمد للہ فرام آور پریویس لیکچرس وی آر ٹرائنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف عالمس عالم مینس دا پلیس ویئر دا کریشن دا مخلوق اسٹیز دا مخلوق ریسائڈس اٹ از اے ورلڈ اٹ از اے ورلڈ اور اے یونیورس اے پلیس ویئر دا مخلوق ریسائڈس سو دیر ویئر ایز پر اوور ڈسکشنس وی ڈسکس دیٹ دیر آر تھری میجر عالمس عالم شہادت عالم برزف اینڈ عالم اروا فرام آور پریویس لیکچرس وی ٹرائی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ آر دا کریشنس ان عالم شہادت and what are the creations in alam e barzakh inshallah we, today, we will today try to understand try to start alam e arwa alam e arwa means it is a world of spirits world of ruh arwa means ruh arwa means spirits it means soul soul of the body the spirit of the body so alam e arwa it has three creations in this عالم میں شہادت عالم میں برزف سو ان اور پریویس لیکچرس بٹ ان عالم میں اروا دیر آر تھری کریشنس ان دیٹ تھری مخلوق ان دس واٹ آر دے دے آر روح عشق اینڈ خیال روح مینس دا اسپرٹ عشق مینس دا لو اینڈ خیال مینس دا تھاٹس سو دیز تھری آر دا کریشنس آف عالم اروا اینڈ دیز آر دا کریشن دے cannot be worshipped we cannot worship them because the creator only will be worshipped the ibadat all the humility all the worship is for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is for the creator alone the creation cannot be worshipped so we are trying to understand the creation the we are trying to understand the makhluk because if we properly try to know the reality of the makhluk reality of the creation we can recognize the creator very well Because this is the purpose of our creation. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّةُ وَالْإِنسَا إِلَّا لِيَابُدُونَ We are created to recognize our Rabb. We are created to recognize our Rabbul Alamin, our Lord, our Sustainer, our Nourisher. So we are here to recognize the Nourisher. For recognizing the Nourisher, we need to, for recognizing the Creator, we need to know the creation. Because the creation cannot be the Creator. So that is why today inshallah with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the faizan of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we will try to understand one creation of alam arwa the world of spirit that uh, we try to understand ruh the spirit inshallah ruh the spirit people they have and uh, some people they have this bad misconceptions among them some people they say that we worship the ruh we worship the spirit some they have this Uh, misconception that wrong understanding that we can call the ruh anytime we can go to the ruh anytime we can take power from them we can ask something from them so many people they with their own understanding have considered ruh as their creator or some of them they worship that ruh though this is not the case this is all against the religion of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The reality is all these are not related to deen. All these are not related to religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, not this. Ruh is also a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just like we are also the creation. Just like all of us are creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ruh is also a creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this misconception <coughs> among us needs to be to your, you know, removed. What is Ruh as per Quran? We will see what is Ruh. what is the function of ruh as per deen what is the reality of ruh we will try to understand in some words its reality and alam e arwa 
देर आर चेक लिस्ट फॉर दिस आलम द मखलूक द क्रिएशन इट इज द मखलूक द क्रिएशन इज द स्पिरिट द लव एंड द थाट्स द द चेक लिस्ट फॉर आलम अरवा द ओलियल एक्सप्लेन्स टू आज दैट इन रियालिटी दे आर देयर बट इन ऑब्जर्वेंस दे के नॉट बी सी दे के नॉट बी सीन रियालिटी दे आर प्रेजेंट रू इट इज प्रेजेंट बट इट के नॉट बी सीन लव इट इज प्रेजेंट बट इट के नॉट बी सीन थॉट्स दे आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इट दे के नॉट बी सीन सो द चेक लिस्ट द टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस आलम अरवा मखलूक द क्रिएशन ऑफ आलम अरवा दीज टू आर द चेक लिस्ट फॉर आइडेंटिफाइंग नेम वॉट आर दे इन रियालिटी देर आर दे आर प्रेजेंट नो बडी कैन डिनाई द रू नो बडी कैन डिनाई द इश्क नो बडी कैन डिनाई द थॉट्स कमिंग टू अस दे आर देर सिमिलरली रू इज प्रेजेंट लव इज प्रेजेंट एंड थॉट्स आर ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट बट दे कैन नॉट बी सीन सो इनशाला वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड रू so ru we say that people have a, this misconception that ru we can go to we can call them to uh, any time we can take power from them we can ask help from them they reside so and so places they come to the his house they come to her house so there are many many bad misconceptions uh, which are against the religion of allah subhanahu wa taala as per the saying of allah subhanahu wa taala as per the saying of rasul allah subhanahu wa taala what where where does the ru go as soon as we die the angels take the ru the angels take the spirit in one of the narrations in one of the sayings of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the ru the spirit of a religious person is taken by angels to the seventh seventh sky level to the seventh sky level the ru is taken for for whose uh, for whom the ru of a religious person the ru of a person pious person his ru is taken to the seventh level seventh sky level and from there this ru watches the heaven so this is one of the narration we say that ru goes here 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 it is being said in the deen of allah subhanahu wa taala the ru in one of the cases of a religious person it goes to the seventh level seventh sky level similarly in another narration it is being said that the ru of a you know religious person it is taken inside the stomach of a green bird which stays in the heaven there are some green birds in heaven there are some green birds in jannah inside their stomach the ru is being kept by the angels and this bird you know flies inside the heaven so this is second narration in another narration it is being said that it has been said that the ru is kept inside the well of zamzam inside the well of zamzam this ru is being kept and in a, and also another narration it is being said that for some people the ru is kept in uh, near their graves only so we say the ru goes here the ru goes there uh, we from our own thoughts from our own shaitanic thoughts we make this uh, you know wrong beliefs wrong aqida so ru goes here and uh, here to janna it goes inside the stomach it goes to the seven sky levels for some some guys some people it is near their graves inside their grave for some it is inside the zamzam well and for the people of wrong you know beliefs wrong aqida the one who denies la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah the kuffar the mushrikeen their ruh is locked up inside the seven earth seven earth seventh level of inside uh, below below this seventh level of this earth we say they are locked up by the angels as per the command of allah subhanahu wa taala as per the order of allah subhanahu wa taala they are locked up inside so we say that ru comes to us ru goes there and you know we can call them any time such some houses their ru uh, you know stays there so this is our this all are our own wrong beliefs created by our own thoughts so this is not the case so as per the sayings as per the narrations these are the cases where the ru goes so and the ru of the kuffar the mushrikeen it is kept you know below the earth very deep inside the earth they are being locked up and the angels are kept there so this is that the case of the ru what is the function of the ru 
you know we talk about row a lot but what is the main function of the row there are two main functions of the row the spirit it has two main functions what are they first function is to see to observe the second is to love what is the first thing to see to see that what it it sees it sees that la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah it sees the reality the roo its main function is to see the reality to see that allah is our sustainer to see that allah is our rela to see that allah is our razi to see that it is only allah subhanahu wa taala who is responsible for running the entire universe it is only because of allah subhanahu wa taala we are given sustenance so this is the work of the roo and ishq love this is all, this is also the work of the roo the love of the dunya or the love of the you know allah subhanahu wa taala the love of the creator or the love of the creation so this is two main functions but for the root to functions only allah the friends of allah subhanahu wa taala they gave a very beautiful example there are some precondition before the working the actual working of the spirit what are they they give an example that <laughs> for the root to function properly to get the best out of this roo what is needed is the cleaning of the heart is very much needed we are being given three things by allah subhanahu wa taala one is the body second is the heart third is the roo or the spirit these are the three things for the roo to work properly to see that allah is ila to see allah is raziq allah is malik allah is khaliq and to love the main thing required is the cleaning of the heart how the only allah they give a very beautiful example they give they give an example that you see for an example there is one driver he drives a car and when he drives the car he finds out that the climate is such that there is fog everywhere around you know fog is you know water droplets uh, near the earth surface there are you know ice crystals Uh, when the fog comes what happens is the complete visibility is lost It means if the fog is more the density of the fog is more you find that everything is in- invisible you cannot see anything so if there is a one driver he drives his car and he finds out that in the front side of front glass of his car there is dense you know high level of fog forming there is there is high level of fog on his front glass through which he needs to see so for him to travel properly what he is needed is first he will be cleaning this glass he will definitely clean this glass because without cleaning this glass he cannot drive if he drives with this invisibility what will happen accident may occur he may die big accident may occur others may die so there will be loss of property there will be loss of lives also so what is needed he will first clean that glass he will be cleaning that glass for him to see similarly the only allah gives this exam from this example that the example of the driver is just like a roo just like the spirit and the example of the front glass is like the heart for the driver to see outside the heart needs to be cleaned similarly for the roo to function to observe to see the reality the front glass the glass needs to be clean what is the glass here what is the mirror here the mirror the glass it is the heart so first the heart needs to be clean when the heart is clean the driver can watch when the glass is clean the driver can watch outside that he can drive properly he can see the reality there similarly for the root to function properly the glass the front glass the heart the hull needs to be clean before it is not if it is not clean the root cannot function properly the purpose of the root the function of the root to see that allah is ila will never be achieved so first what is needed it is needed that our hearts needs to be clean then the root can love then the roo can see la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah so so cleaning of the heart is very much important because without cleaning of the heart the roo will not achieve this functions its function will never be achieved 
so the cleaning of the heart is very much needed. why why the cleaning of the heart is needed because our hearts are filled with hatred of the people our hearts are filled with the love of this dunya our hearts are filled with the uluyat of the creation with la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah so this cleaning will be done because we are trying to understand la ilaha illallah only these are the teachings of la ilaha illallah only from la ilaha illallah we remove the dirt of the uluyat of the makhluk from our heart we remove the rust from our heart we remove the rust of kufr rust of shirk rust of nifaq from our heart because la from la we are denying that makhluk is ila makhluk is sustainer our sustainer makhluk is our raziq makhluk is our owner this we are denying from our heart from la ilaha illallah la ilaha illallah means no makhluk from alam e shahadat no creation from alam e shahadat no creation from alam e barzakh no creation from alam e arwa is my ilah illa allah then comes it is only allah subhanahu wa taala who is my sustainer who is my raziq who is my malik who is my owner so this is la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah so this la ilaha illallah we are first trying to understand la ilaha means we are understanding the creation and from understanding the real knowing the reality of the creation we are removing this from our heart that no makhluk is ila this needs to be endorsed in our heart. no makhluk either from alam e shahadat alam e barzakh or alam e arwa is our sustainer we need to endorse this in our heart so when we understand the reality of the makhluk the creation this will enter our heart la ilaha illallah will enter our heart so the cleaning of the heart will happen only through the knowledge of la ilaha illallah without the knowledge of la ilaha illallah our hearts will never be clean because the cleaning of the heart is very very much important and the cleaning of the heart means the cleaning of kufr shirk nifaq the cleaning of the hidden shirk hidden kufr hidden nifaq from our hearts this will lead to cleaning of the heart when the heart gets clean then the ruh will function ruh will see the reality ruh will see that allah is ila ruh will see that so before the function of the do the cleaning of the heart is important that is why when we go to the friends of wali allah subhanahu wa taala they first give us zikr they then they give this knowledge of la ilaha illa then they keep on cleaning our heart from kufr shirk and nifaq so that is why but nowadays it is being seen that we are much more bothered about the cleaning of the body we are very much bothered about the cleaning of the body but we are not bothered about the cleaning of our heart and this is very much important the cleaning of the heart is very very much important more than more important than the cleaning of the body but we are much more concerned much more worried about the cleaning of our faces cleaning of our teeth cleaning of our body because we we are doing this because the people they see me they see my face the people they see my hairs the people they see my clothes so we are bothered about the cleaning of clothes cleaning of shoes cleaning of our houses clearly cleaning the you know our blankets everything because we feel that people see this so we are worried that people may see this and they may say anything to uh, to us but we are not bothered we are not worried that our clean hearts as per the our hearts as per the saying of rasul sallam our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that allah subhanahu wa taala does not look at your body he does not does not look at your faces he looks at the heart of the people at the hearts of the people here allah subhanahu wa taala our creator our khaliq our malik our raziq he sees our heart and we are bothered to show our faces to the people what he may say what he may say see cleaning of the body is very much important but we are giving it so much importance that we are forgetting the cleaning of our heart so this is what is why this is happening because we are not knowing the reality of the creation we are not trying to understand la ilaha illallah we are not trying to understand the kalime tayyib we are not trying to understand the desire of allah subhanahu wa taala so this is leading to a unclean heart to heart filled with hatred to a heart filled with kufr shirk and nifa so this needs to be you know worried and this is a matter of concern and this you know very rarely you are finding nowadays the uh, teachings regarding the cleaning of the heart alhamdulillah alhamdulillah it is a great mercy of allah subhanahu wa taala that he has associated us with his friends otherwise it would have happened that even we 
would not have you know told this or listened to this or worked on this we are still working on this we are still working of on our unclean hearts to heart filled with kufr shirk and nifaq because only allah they took many years to clean this and we are near khayama we are near the day of judgment and we don't know when we when is our last breath we don't know when is when is our last day of our life so now it is a time for us we understand this and the questions of the grave are related to uh, you know to the heart they will be asked to the heart if the heart is clean the answers will be answered easily if the heart is unclean then you know those questions will never be answered so that is why the cleaning of the heart is important without cleaning you know our life is a waste because this unclean heart allah subhanahu wa taala will ask on the day of judgment give me the khalbe salim i gave to you how can we give an unclean heart to his creator to our creator when our creator will ask us the heart how can we give him this unclean heart so we better get worried that i need to clean my heart i need to clean my heart and also there is a function for the function of the roof to work the heart cleaning of the heart is very much important so we make an oath we make an oath to ourselves to say that promise to ourselves that we i will try to work at least some time a day i will take my time i will take you know uh, give my efforts at least half an hour one hour in order to learn the process of the cleaning of the heart and la- cleaning comes from la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah and all the anbi all the prophets came with la ilaha illallah why to clean the hearts of the people to clean the hearts of the people and to make the people the servants of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to become a servant of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our hearts needs to be clean and this is very very important so let us let us continue so the roof to function what is needed the hearts heart needs to be clean and regarding roof in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the chapter of bani israel verse number 85 there were some people who came to prophet our pillar of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they asked regarding roof so allah subhanahu wa taala replied to this in the chapter of so bani israel words number 85 allah subhanahu wa taala says they question you about the soul they question you about the uh, roof they question you about the spirit say the soul is the command of my nourisher allah subhanahu wa taala says o oh, my beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam these people they question to you regarding the roof regarding the spirit say to them that the spirit is the command of my rab it is the order it is the instruction of my rabbul alamin it is the order it is the re- instruction of my nourisher it is the order it is the instruction of my sustainer and allah subhanahu wa taala continues and you were not given the knowledge but a little allah says whatever was given to you this is enough for you this is little is enough for you whatever you were given it was little so allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that ru is my command ru is my order ru is the order of allah subhanahu wa taala so from this all allah explains that you see a body without a ru it is a dead body and that body is useless what you do you dig a grave and you you know keep that body in that grave because there is no ru and because of no ru you you know make uh, best efforts to remove that body from the house you see because now this body is of no use if some some of the men of any house they he dies what happens is immediately after his dies there are arrangements made so that this body goes away see a body without ru there is no value similarly it is called a dead body similarly ru is the command of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the will of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the order of allah subhanahu wa taala and what is the command or what is the order of allah subhanahu wa taala it is his own will it is his own desire and this we saw in the meaning of deen in the chapter of meaning of deen we saw what whatever is the command whatever is the order of allah subhanahu wa taala it is his own desire because from his own desire from his own will he orders that so similarly ru is the command order of allah subhanahu wa taala because it is the order of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the will of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the desire of allah subhanahu wa taala 
सो रू इज द विल ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान तला एक्चुअल रू इज द डिजायर ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान तला सो ऑली अल्लाह एक्सप्लेन्स दैट एनी बॉडी विदाउट अ रू इट इज अ डेड बॉडी सिमिलरली एनी एक्शन ऑफ अवर एनी वर्क ऑफ अवर लाइफ इफ इट डजेंट हैव एनी रू इट डजेंट हैव एनी यू नो द विल एज पर द विल ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहान तला then it is like similar to lie, uh, that of a dead body because dead body it doesn't have any ru similarly ru is the will ru is the desire of allah subhanahu wa taala if any work doesn't have this desire of allah subhanahu wa taala any work is not as per the will of allah subhanahu wa taala then that work is just similar to a dead body it is a dead work it is a dead action for example la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam What is the rule of lai lai lo Muhammad Rasulullah SAW? The rule of lai lai lo Muhammad Rasulullah SAW is when we say from the heart and endure this in the heart. This rule of lai lai lo is that our heart should be endured that no makhluk is our ilah. It is only Allah who is our ilah. No creation is our sustainer. No creation is our malik. No creation is our razi. No creation is the creator. We should endure this in our heart. and illallah it is only allah who is our you know creator who is our master who is our sustainer who is our ila who is our razi who is our malik so this is the rule of our la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah so similarly for any work it has a rule any work if it is as per the will or desire of allah subhanahu wa taala then that work is as per the desire of allah subhanahu if it if it doesn't have any rule means if it is not as per the desire of allah subhanahu wa taala then that work is unacceptable work then that just that is just an action unacceptable action similarly you see prayers you pray salah what is the rule of salah rule of salah is to achieve the purpose of salah the achieve uh, the purpose of salah is to meet the creator to meet the creator when we go to salah we pray we we go to we our our purpose is the purpose of salah is to meet the creator if this is achieved then that salah has got row in it if it, it if this is not achieved then that kind of worshiping is just a uh, an act of the body and nothing else so everything has a row similarly fasting you take fasting fasting also has a row the purpose of fasting it is to uh, get taqwa become mutaqi but what are we doing we are just eating sleeping eating sleeping so the purpose is not of means our fasting doesn't have ru our fasting doesn't have the desire or the will of allah subhanahu it is not as per the desire as per the will of allah subhanahu there is no ru involved in that one so the holy allah says that everything every work we do has a ru if there is ru in that then that means it is as ru is the desire of allah subhanahu wa taala and that is the similarity with a man having a ru with a man breathing his life if there is no ru involved in any work then what happens is it is just similar to a dead body so the concept of ru is this and hazrat isa alay salam allah makes a revelation allah makes a wahi to isa alay salam he says o oh isa if in the heart of my servant i do not find the love love of this dunya and the akhira then i will fill my love in his heart and i will bring him under my protection this allah subhanahu wa taala is saying to isa alaihi salam allah subhanahu wa taala is saying o oh isa if some servant of mine he doesn't have in his heart the love of this dunya and the love of this akhira he doesn't have anything the uh, love of this dunya or the love of this akhira then i will fill my love in his heart and then i will bring him under my protection see the allah subhanahu wa taala is loving those allah subhanahu wa taala is seeing the heart of the people he is seeing the khalb of the people he is seeing that if i do not find the love of this dunya and the love of this akhira i will fill my heart so our purpose should be to please our creator please allah subhanahu wa taala to please allah subhanahu wa taala to worship allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala is saying if you do not have the love of this dunya if you do not have the love of this akhira then i will fill my love with your heart then i will bring you under my protection so for us to be in the protection of allah subhanahu wa taala 
in the security of allah subhanahu wa taala we should fill our hearts we should remove the love of this dunya love of this akhira in from our heart our purpose is to only please allah subhanahu wa taala we should not please the creation we should not please the creation with this i can put it over my talk allah masli ala sidna muhammad wa ala sidna muhammad wa risali allah subhanahu wa taala please accept our efforts whatever was done knowingly or unknowingly please uh, forgive our sins forgive our mistakes allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala ali sayyidina muhammad wa barik subhana rabbika rabbil izati wa ma yasun salamun alaykum alhamdulillah